Well, I'd recommend it to folk like myself if they want to see what it's like in the real work for like apprenticeships or full-time jobs. They're a big help to us, a person that we can train and mould and potentially take on. I'd never thought about becoming a joiner, but since I joined the course, I've been enjoying it and I'd quite like to be one now. The programme is funded by Skills Development Scotland. It's essentially a programme built on what they call a, a pipeline which provides a, a critical path for young people between the ages of 16 and 24. The pipeline is based on the notion that young people will come on that pipeline at a stage which is appropriate to them. Its main purpose is to provide work experience. The programme itself is backed and supported by the career service, so we work in partnership, recruiting and supporting young people that are at various stages in terms of uh, the support they need. The contract that we have at the college is to provide stage three and stage four. At stage three, you have young people who have more need of, of work experience, but also perhaps other skills that are required in terms of employability, customer care, some of the softer skills that employers would look for. If they come onto stage three, they will receive in the first five weeks a college-based programme which takes them through these softer skills and also gives them a taste of the trades in construction. So they'll have uh, an opportunity to do some joinery, bricklaying, painting, decorating, plumbing, etc. We've done half brick walling, first unit, we're now into cavity walling. It's just to give them an idea of building processes that we're involved in. And even apprentices start at the same place. It gives them a taster, it gives them somewhere to start, it lets them see what bricklaying is all about and, and hopefully um, they'll be able to take that forward. So at stage three they do five weeks in the college and they have eight weeks with an employer. That will give them critical work experience to enable them to, to move forward went up to the careers office and they offered me it. Pretty much just said what it was about and how it can achieve my goals. There's times where I need to get someone in to give me a hand, say, say it's a work talk for a kitchen. It's extremely awkward trying to do that yourself. So having someone there for me to take an end of that, it's a lot easier and you can do it quicker. Daniel here, he's learning the process of working in a kitchen and a bathroom. I think it's a win-win situation. Well, I'm hopefully looking to go on and do an apprenticeship. I've always wanted to be a joiner or a plumber, just always wanted to be it. It's made, made me want it more. I would recommend it. Sometimes it depends on the person you're getting. If it's a the field they want to work in, you tend to get more interest, more enthusiasm. In that respect, the person's got to be detailed off to the right way of working and the right subject. Uh, and nine times out of ten that will work, uh, so it's a positive for me, yeah. At stage four, this would be uh, a young person perhaps, maybe you know in their twenties, who perhaps have some employability experience behind them and training, but require more in-depth work experience with an employer. Stage four actually provides them with a 13-week programme which concentrates on their work experience and they come into the college one day a week. What the employers want is to see a young person being able to turn up on time, good attendance, following instructions, working in a team, essentially showing that they have the potential to be a reliable support to that employer. I'm not very good at computers, so construction is probably my strongest point. It's been more practical sitting there really want to then enjoy then. Decorate Scotland has been uh, going for six years now. As a company we like to feel that we're giving stuff back. We've done this over a number of years, we've worked closely with the, the, the college. Mark's probably about the third or fourth guy that we've taken from the college. It's good to get them out, it's good to get their skill levels up and from his point of view it's good for him to see 
exactly the, the pressures and the demands that are placed on you actually being out at work and, and not being at school anymore. I would re recommend it because it's learning new skills, getting a chance to learn about work. The last one that we had, Andrew, um, came through this same scheme and he's now in his, his third year apprenticeship. It, it's a positive model that the college employ that we can take advantage of. The young people that are on placements at the minute with employers seem to be doing pretty well. The hope is that they'll move on to the next stage and realise a bit more of their potential. The college cannot guarantee that a young person will eventually move into a, a modern apprenticeship or get full-time employment. We work closely with the employers to hopefully arrive at that point at some stage. It's up to the employers in terms of what they can invest. We do lots of different activities in the college that helps with like measuring and learning how to keep everything level and working to a time. When I get the chance to try all my different skills that I've been learning, I quite enjoy it because it shows that I can do it. Basically Chrissy's first job on the site is brushing hand. Unfortunately apprentices jobs that's what they do. Um, so we've got to make sure our feet are clean, our tools are clean and he gets the odd saw and the odd bit of hammer and the odd bit of screw and the screws to do. Uh, which he has picked up pretty well. He has been building up kitchen cabinets. He got it on the second, third day of uh, starting and he picked up really quick. We don't have to supervise him doing that. He's, he's pretty good at the cabinets now. So he's doing, he's doing okay. I would recommend the course to other people because it's really been an eye opener as to what the different trades are like. Definitely recommend it. Reason being is I feel the small businesses, there is work there and they do need the help and it's hard just to take the lads on and keep paying them straight away. So with the funding that's coming with Fourth Valley College, I, th I think it's great. And it's a great way of seeing the lad without losing money out your own pocket to start with. So it's, it's a great, great setup. I feel quite proud after joining this course. I've been trying to impress Scott to get him on an apprenticeship. And I think I've been doing quite good so far. I'm just enjoying it because it's what I want to do, what I want to be. What the programme does provide, whether it's stage three or stage four, is their CV is going to look so much better. They'll have good references, very critical work experience that the young person will certainly use to go forward.